Hey guys, another Blender simulation, or not simulation, uh, animation. Uh, simulation would be if you really try to make an accurate, well, simulation of some kind, right? Um, this is more like practicing, Try, I try to make a solid um, earth object, which is only one object, uh, what you currently see. I mean, you see two objects, but we talk about the earth-like planet, which is not, uh, I not, did not try to make an, the same earth, just the other planet, and it's not finished yet. Um, so what I've learned is how to create, um, or, I, well, I didn't learn that, but it's, um, I think I have a good idea on how to make some mountains. And uh, we could also paint them to make them more mountain-like. So some of them are a little bit too blue and so on. Um, yeah, but funny, I figured out how to, well, I think I have an idea how to make, um, uh, little planets now. Um, I had to look up how to make the atmosphere because this is made with a node and the atmosphere is very very interesting to be honest since you want to make to you want to show the atmosphere but the trick is that you that the atmosphere disappears in the shadow and also the um, the clouds and so on. Anyway, so this is just not really in the tutorial or something like that. It's just um, uh, I created this little animation and I wanted to show you this because, you know, when you make those little animations, it takes time until the render is finished. And, well, uh, then I want to do something with it. <laughs> so, in this case, I want to show it. So, and uh, this is the planet. Uh, just show you this. And uh, when we zoom in, you see it's very rough. So, it's not... Um, a really good uh, planet but uh, I think what is interesting is that it's really like one object you know that's the important thing it's a not really extremely round um, but this thing is filled with a lot of uh, nodes uh, which is hard to explain what that actually stands for I hope you know what it means if not don't worry about it it really doesn't matter um, for showing purposes let's just see when i go into 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 shading yeah and then i'm gonna show you this little guy here um yeah you see um you know you see the little planet and uh here i made uh, the mountains uh, it's not really procedural generated i don't think so maybe it is i don't know <laughs> What, what uh, how we would call I, know, I don't think procedural generator would be the wrong term so it's basically a, a noise texture which we want to use uh, to make uh, um, uh, those mountains and uh, then we have like something is called uh, like the bump effect which basically simulates a 3d object uh, by only using a 2d image or something don't take this for sh for granted what i'm telling you right now it's basically working with sh uh, shadow and light but it's not really a 3d object so if you change the value here for example you see how the mountains are disappearing because they are not really existing in the 3d world they just seem to be existing by the texture um simulating light and shadow or whatever i do not know i'm a, a still a blender try and error guy yeah that's what i am i guess that's what i am try and error guy and when we change this uh, value we can create different uh, kind of um mountains there's also a way to make this uh, manually uh, so i thought while doing that i could also just uh with bump painting um it's like you paint kind of those anyway we, we could hand craft this kind of without modeling it so um, there's also modeling uh, thing which could be interesting but we don't really need to do that there's one weird thing when i am this camera you know don't worry i'm gonna show you a little bit of stuff but don't think that i'm explaining it to you i'm just showing what i think could be interesting um but it's not really uh, meant to explain anything but we have here a little system, you know, when I play this animation, you see this is the Earth, the Moon, and uh, for some reason the small got very tiny. <laughs> but it doesn't really matter. Important is that the stuff is um, circulating. Um, I wouldn't say accurate, but it's something. So I think this is how you're probably going to make a, 
um, uh, a solar system so with blender you know so you have the um the the cycle path so the earth i believe is following the cycle and this thing here yeah exactly uh, we could also accelerate this a little bit which we do by using you know what i'm not explaining the good but i can show you funny stuff i, I can show you funny stuff so look at that hold on oh no you <laughs> See, this is what I love about the stuff. You you can play around with all those values and, and so on. And oh, here we have some... Well, this I thought I wanted to save because it might not look like an Earth, but it looks like an... Um, it looks... Ah, see, we are still here in the... In the it looks like... Well, like something space-like, especially if we turn this one on. Could be an asteroid or something later on and so this i'll figure out this one is very interesting too um this is kind if you wonder why it's changing its form it's well maybe you know the problem is i tried to show you something very quickly and then i thought i'm gonna explain certain stuff but i don't have time because i have to eat soon so i don't know what i'm doing actually well this is earth-like planet uh it's oh i'm gonna show you the painting um how do i do that how do i do that i'm gonna do it like uh, ah, i don't even have it here this wasn't the other thing i believe no texture painting here we go good uh we have to go into this one here and then let me change one little thing here just i think it's better for painting the painting progress can be uh resource needing i talk a lot of bullshit i guess <laughs> anyway let me just show you this one and then i'm gonna be gone i have to go so wait um missing texture ah, i think i'm probably uh, i did not activate the object i guess ah now it works so as you see this is my idea i figured out that we can actually paint this thing here like this and it doesn't look okay when i do it like that but you have to keep in mind that it's um you have to do it for a while and then you have to change a little bit the values and carefully it can work sometimes when you do that it looks like it doesn't work um but if you keep doing it it starts to look like something you know uh, so this is definitely too green right now but uh, let's see if we do that yeah see it it starts to look actually like a little bit like a mountain and what i thought is basically um that you could actually create those those mountains like, like i've showed you a little bit earlier and uh, then if you if you found a good uh, structure if you like the structure how everything looks like then you can start painting those those little mountains you know i think on the top of the mountains always a little bit of white white so and you have to be careful not to put too much white into that so that i think this could be good and it starts to actually look like a landscape if you paint it out a little bit more you know it has to really you know I, it's right now it doesn't look that good i think it's just not enough you know you need to, to really show some borders you know and you don't have to make it like this little we can yeah i think we can like that so i think i'm maybe gonna make a video on this i'm maybe gonna make a video on this <laughs> well so let's see okay let's rotate the earth and with the rotation i mean you know the the thing is this one was kind of like a, a test uh, thing i just wanted to see 
uh, can I make a, um, an Earth-like planet? And, and there, there is a way to, to, to use uh, pictures, like textures for um, planets. Uh, they are already done. You can actually have to use uh, real textures for making the Mars and the Earth. But I think it's more fun if you make new, completely new systems, you know, like, uh, you know, make your own planet with your own um, uh, imagination and you I wanted to be a little bit Earth-like so that I have, I do not know, just, you know, a little bit of the feeling, okay, this could be a planet we could live on, but a pretty rough planet, I have to admit. Um, anyway, just more fun to me, right now at least. Um, so, but you get the idea. So this is what I thought. Um, the atmosphere, so because everything is one object, it's cool, but maybe it makes sense to make, for example, the world at a separate f object, a separate face. Oh, I have, I got, uh, okay, I have to go, guys. So, well, whatever, this is the video. Um, maybe I'm going to make a better one on this. I should probably <laughs> just wanted to show you the stupid animation. And now I'm describing multiple things and nothing really. Anyways, enjoy the earth. Have a good time. One little thing. One little thing. I have to go, but one little thing I want to show. Where is it? Shading, 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 shading. It's here because it looks, it's the real thing. So when we just change this value, see, now the, the earth is burning. Okay, I have to go, guys. Bye-bye.